feeling good about it. Are you a chocolate lover? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> so the students have finally finished their challenge. I'm so excited to taste their dishes. But before I do, I have a friend that's going to help me come in and critique. He is season 11 winner of Top Chef New Orleans, Nicholas Elmy. Come on in, Nick. How are you? It's so good to see you. Thanks for having me. So I'm having you come in to taste these dishes. And I know you're really busy. You're here from Philly. But I understand that you were actually an economics major. Yeah, when I graduated high school, I went to uh, college for economics with a minor in accounting. A minor in accounting, yeah. and I majored in accounting, worked for uh, a big eight accounting firm, lots of numbers, lots of math, and it did not change once I changed to food. No, absolutely not. I you know, apply my mathematical skills every single day that I'm in the kitchen, whether it's converting recipes or being able to run a business. Numbers can make or break a chef, I mean, really in any discipline. And I think what we're seeing today is how numbers make a dish delicious. Hopefully. <laughs> so are you ready to taste? Absolutely. All right. Leanna, you're doing a turkey pillard with a strawberry and pomegranate relish. Here we go. Wow. Beautiful colors. Doesn't it look gorgeous? It does. It looks so juicy and nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. The ginger is great. And that texture from the pomegranate seeds, I love it. Leanna uses a tar on the turkey. It is delicious. The, spi the spice of the turkey is really good. Now, do you cook at home? Are you the chef at Shea Mom's? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. So, Dahlia, how do you think she did? I think she did a great job. I think she started out with a really simple concept and really made it into something that's a little different, but still completely pleasing to somebody who maybe hasn't tried a lot of these things before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it works really well. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks. All right, Nick, so you understand what the challenge is, Absolutely. right? So, Jacob did a side dish. Now, Jacob, why don't you tell Nick what you did? So, I prepared a vegetarian grilled ratatouille. Okay. And uh, it has all the healthy components. It has eggplant, zucchini, peppers, all that good stuff. And it's on a toasted baguette. Beautiful. Ready to see it? Sure am. <gasps> oh, wow, look at the colors. So tell us a little bit about it. I mean, you have all these herbs. What kind of herbs did you put uh, on Oh, we it? have tarragon, basil, and also, I believe, thyme as well. Oh, nice. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, obviously the vegetables are, are awesome and, and very crisp. The most important thing with any dish is like how it actually tastes. And this, this tastes incredible. So Michael, how do you think he did? I think he did awesome. And as long as he's happy. <laughs> that was so delicious, Jacob. It was really good. All right, so let's see what Diamond has for us over here. Diamond, I know you want to be a pastry chef, so um, your future is riding on this plate. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, tell us what you did. Um, we wanted to do a chocolate mousse cake, uh -huh. but we decided to do a chocolate angel food cake with raspberries, so it's a little healthier. <gasps> Look at it. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> no, it's really good. And you know, there are raspberries in the center. This has got the right amount of tartness from the berries. Uh, the chocolate certainly shines but it, it's so light and fluffy, it's, it's really great. So tell me how you all actually lightened up this cake. We used um, egg whites. By whipping them, Yeah, it really creates a lot of air mm -hmm. in the batter, and that's what makes it so light and fluffy. Well, this was delicious. It was, it was so good, and I, I think the focus today being on healthier food and seeing how we've had all of these dishes and they're lighter and just, but you don't miss anything. You don't, you don't miss no. any of the fat. I mean, it's, it's definitely sustainable to do all of these dishes in a healthy way. All right, so Nicholas, our top chef, how do you think the students did? I'm very pleasantly surprised with the food today. 
Uh, it all tasted very good. Uh, some of it was very creative. Mm -hmm. uh, some of it was very beautiful. But most importantly, at the end of the day, it's how it tastes. And right. all of it tasted great. Yeah, it really did. It really did. So after this uh, spectacular tasting of food, I actually have my own challenge for the, for oh. the students today. Yeah. yeah, let's have it. We've been showing you how important math is in the kitchen and in everyday life. But we've also been talking about a really important issue, healthy eating. The new food plate, an updated version of the food pyramid, says that the average high school student needs about 50 grams of protein every day. Protein can come out in different types of ingredients. What I want to know is about how, what percentage of the student's daily protein intake is in today's meal. Wow, great question. So Kim, what do you think? Healthy eating can be a difficult problem to solve. 50 grams of protein sounds reasonable, so let's see what percent this meal provides. I know our main sources of protein are the egg whites in the cake and the turkey paillard, so let's focus on those. The angel food cake used 385 grams of eggs, and it served six people. We had six ounces of turkey to serve two people. Eggs in turkey don't contain the same proportion of protein, though. Egg whites are 10% protein, and turkey is 18% protein. First, we'll figure out how many grams of protein we're getting, and then we'll calculate what percent of 50 grams that is. Because we eat three meals a day, if the final number ends up being over a third of our daily value, I'd call that a win. First, I'll find the amount of eggs that each individual serving has. 385 divided by 6 equals about 64 grams in one serving. But only 10% of that is protein. So multiply 64 by 10%, or 0.1, to see how many grams of protein are in each serving. That comes to 6.4 grams. Now for the turkey. First, let's convert it to grams so it matches the eggs. One ounce is about 28.35 grams. So six ounces would be six times that, or 170.1 grams. Just like with the eggs, I only want one serving. Because this recipe makes two, not six, I divide by two. That's about 85 grams. The turkey is 18% protein, so we multiply 85 grams by 18%, or 0.18, to find the amount of protein in the turkey. That's 15.3 grams of protein per serving of turkey, over twice what the eggs are providing. Now that we know how much protein we're getting in our eggs and turkey, we add the two quantities to find the total amount of protein in the meal. That comes to 21.7 grams. We just need to find what percent of the recommended 50 grams a day that is. That's a ratio over 50, and a percent is a ratio out of 100. Since the denominator doubled, we can double the numerator without changing the value of the fraction. That's the same as 43.4%. So, this meal gives us 43.4%, or well over a third of our daily recommended 50 grams of protein. Pretty good for one meal. Kim, thank you so much. You've been a tremendous help today.